let's talk technology. So we're going to start with MyGCC. So MyGCC is the student information management system. This is where you do things to, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is where you uh, register for classes. This is how you see your schedule. This is how you find your advisor. This is how you can pay your bill. And I'm going to mention this now. You'll probably forget it, but I'm going to mention it anyway. My GCC is where you find your final grades at the end of the semester. It's they won't be on Moodle. They'll be on my GCC. All right. Let's, so when you log into my GCC, this is what it looks like. Um, you got some options over here on the left hand side on your menu. There are a whole bunch of forms hiding under this submit a form button. We're going to look at that in a minute. Um, and then there are other things that you can access here. One thing you want to pay attention to, especially if you're doing things like clicking on your class schedule or that sort of thing, is pay attention to the term. You want to make sure it's defaulting to the term that you want. Um, so obviously right now it won't be defaulting to fall 2020, it should be defaulting to spring 2022. Um, over here you have the My Announcement sections, that's where you found the button, the link to register for orientation. It's probably still hanging out there. That's because we just like to have, the, we like to make it easy for folks to get to register for orientation. So it just lives there for a little while. And then at some point in February, it'll disappear. This red button about updating your alert GCC information, that stays up there all the time, even after you've updated your information, because it's there kind of as a reminder in case, say, you move and you might want to get that information updated or you change your phone number, that sort of thing. Um, and there might be other announcements here as well. You'll, some of the upcoming announcements and events that are happening just generally at GCC will be in the middle. And then the uh, academic calendar dates that are coming up soonest will also appear, appear, appear here on my GCC. Up here, you see you have several you have tabs. One of these, this My Account tab, that's where you can update your personal information. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. Make sure it's, you have your address is correct. Make sure your phone number is correct, especially make sure that you're, if there's a cell phone number, that it's your cell phone number. I have noticed that sometimes students may have had help in applying to GCC and then their parents put their phone number in there rather than the student's phone number. So make sure that's all accurate. The other thing to know that you can update there is um, your preferred name. So if the name that you use does not match your legal name and you want other people to use that name, you want to change it under the My Account information. It'll show up on rosters, it'll show up on Moodle. So uh, that way, you know, people will know the name that you use. So just so you know that's there. Down here in the upper, in the upper, in the lower right hand corner, um, there is probably at this point, uh, uh, it just says no photo. Uh, when you get a GCC ID, then you will have a photo. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh, but that is a button and that button brings you to your dashboard and we're going to look at your dashboard in a second. But first, I want to show you what's hiding under that submit a form button. So if you click on the submit a form button, you get this long drop down. Um, in fact, there's maybe I think there's some other things that have been added to this since the last time I did a screen grab of this. Um, I can't remember when I grabbed this, but in any case, you can find things here. You can change your major here. You can change your advisor. You can request an official transcript. If you want to drop a class, you can do that. If you need to withdraw from all of your classes, you can do that there. Oh, if you need to verify that you are a student at GCC for any reason, you know, for your employer, for a program that you're a part of, for a benefit that you're getting, that enrollment verification request is how you get that verification. Uh, taken care of. So, um, so yeah, so those are all the things you can find under the submit a form button. Now we're going to talk about your dashboard. So again, if you click on that picture of you or the what now says no photo, it brings up your dashboard. Um, I feel like the dashboard isn't necessarily used by students all that often, but we use it all the time and I encourage, encourage you to use it as well. All right, what kind of things can you find here? Well, you can find your advisor. Um, and uh, you can see your, your transcript. If you ever forget your ID number, you just click over here uh, where it says show student ID and it gives you your ID number. Um, this is how I know whether or not you've uh, 
completed orientation and the way that this shows up is when you do that survey at the very end of orientation. Um, and then what shows up first, you know, the first tab that comes up is uh, your schedule. This is a simplified version of your schedule, um, but it has the basic information you need, like the course, when it meets, both the, for like what dates and times, uh, the days are over here. I want to point out that GCC uses single letters for abbreviations for days. So this is not a class that just meets on Thursdays. This is a class that meets Tuesdays and Thursdays. Our abbreviation for Thursday is R. If this person had in-person classes, the room number would be here. Instructor is here. See how this is blue? That's an, a link to that instructor's email. So you can always email one of your instructors just from there. Um, and then see over here on the right hand side where it says grade. Remember how I mentioned like five minutes ago that your final grades show up on my GCC, not on Moodle. This is where you'll find your final grades. Um, one thing to know about room numbers, they start with a letter because uh, we have a north wing, we have a south wing, and we have the east building, which is a separate building altogether that's right across the way from us. Um, and if you ever see a room number, this wouldn't be for a class, but just a room number in general that starts with C, that means it's in the core of the main building. Um, one of the things I wanna draw your attention to is see here where it says view schedule. Um, that brings you to a more detailed version of your schedule and it's how you can find out what books you need for your classes. So we're gonna look at that next. So this is what a more detailed version of your schedule shows up. Um, so this also has the, how many credits your courses are worth and how many credits you're taking total. Notice here where it says location, how I told, remember how I mentioned that the room numbers start with an S so the, or an N um, or an E. So this specific class meets in the south wing in room 338. Um, the other thing you'll find here are notes about your classes. So for example, this is a note that Bio 104 was a hybrid course that met one day a week on campus and the remainder was online and that there are some off-campus field trips. This is a note that um, Social 106 is an online only course with no required meetings. And then remember how I mentioned, this is how you can find out what books you need for your classes. This link will bring you to the bookstore and it will list all of your classes. It will list your classes and what books are assigned. Um, if you see a note that says uh, books have yet to be assigned, um, you might want to just drop your instructor a quick note to say, uh, just to check to make sure that there isn't, that that's true, that, or if there, because every once in a while there can be a snafu with the books system. So just FYI. 